but yeah so till friday don't forget if you haven't sent your pets in your pictures of your pets in yet or animals that come and visit you or you know anything to do with animals we're going to look at that everybody's pets animals and then we're going to have a quiz a fun quiz so we're going to have a fun live coming up so but not tonight won't be much fun because tonight we're going to talk about this lady gainer i mean it's so very sad the whole thing you know um well i don't know how much you know about what they've said you know i don't know how much any of you have seen about the inquest uh because the the full inquest was held today but i just sort of read it and i just thought what you know i did just these at work I know inquests, they're not to solve anything, are they, really? They're just to establish who died, was it who died, their manner of death, and what likely happened to them, the likely reasons. They're not like proper court cases or whatever. But, you know, sometimes I, I think, God, they say we sort of uh, speculate or whatever. You know, a lot of the inquests, I think, God, they're completely... You know, where I suppose it's not always cut and dried, is it? You know, if somebody deletes themselves and you find them hanging up somewhere, it's more cut and dried, isn't it, than cases like this where people get into the river, uh, rivers and things, is how did they get into the river? Like Nicola, how did she get into the river? You know, was she even there those first three weeks? You know, these are these are all the questions that we ask about Nicola. The gainer is very similar. You know, she disappeared. You know, she's a, a sort of, I don't know, a middle class, you'd call a woman. It wasn't, you know, she seems to come from quite an affluent background, similar to Nicola, really. Uh, you know, she's a mother, I mean, older than Nicola, but uh, not that much older than Nicola, because, of course, Nicola was older than she looked, wasn't she? She was 45 at the end of the day. Um, and I think uh, Gaynor maybe was another 10 years older again. Uh, but, you know, it's hard to work out someone's state of mind, isn't it? What was going through the mind? Why did she go in the river? But that's what the inquest was supposed to, you know, is supposed to establish, isn't it? And as we go through it in a minute, well, we'll see what you think. But, I, you know, it's another of those cases. Let's have a look at her with Nicola. It's another of those cases to me where you're thinking, what, what, you know, like, what, because um, I suppose it's trying to think of it in the way I would think of something, and of course, you know, weird things do happen that don't make sense sometimes, and we just have to accept that, really, don't we? So anyway, what we're going to look at first is the press com is a press conference from the time. Now I did quite a lot of coverage of this when Gaynor went missing, and you know they brought up the the last wet cam you know cam videos of her uh, sort of finishing. She finished work early. She went off. She was running, and they thought they weren't sure why she was running, but it was it that it was raining. She went to a church. Then she was seen walking down the road, looking in a, a window, a, a painting. Then apparently she was down by the river doing yoga, according to somebody who said they saw her there. And then the next minute she disappeared. Uh, so, you know, until later, a little while later, her body was found by the police without, without the help of Peter Folding. <coughs> the police did man to, uh, and apparently uh the police i think it was leicester wasn't it i'll check in a minute <clears throat> where it was sorry about my croaky voice but i've been talking a lot today um they took advice from lancashire police how to deal with it how to deal with the media so they did regular press conferences uh they sealed off the area as a crime scene you know so all those mistakes that lancashire police made Lancashire Police really sort of went to help Leicestershire Police um, sort of to, you know, say what you shouldn't do. In other words, everything that we did, don't do it like that, do it like this. So we're going to have a look at this press conference, first of all. I 
hang on, I just realised I didn't like this is my own video and I didn't like it. So need to like that. Okay, let's see. Everybody for coming today. Today, police specialist divers have found the body of a female in the River Wenson after a detailed and methodical search over the past few days. Whilst we establish her identity, our thoughts are again as family at this difficult and distressing time. We have specialist family liaison officers supporting the family and keeping them updated with what we are doing at all stages. We remain open-minded to the circumstances of Gaynor's disappearance and will continue to pursue all lines of inquiry to ascertain why she went missing. I'm keen to say that this remains a missing person inquiry at this stage. I'm also satisfied at the moment, based on the evidence that we have, that Gaynor did not meet anybody on the way to the park, and we now have a better understanding of her movements through the city centre. Whilst this is not the outcome we wished for, our search is always predominantly focused on the river and the park. We will now need to complete a post-mortem examination to establish means of death. But I would reiterate at this stage that there is no evidence of third party involvement. Nothing in our inquiries have changed this position. I would like to thank the media and the public for their continued to support during this difficult and challenging time. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Is that it? No questions, bless him. No, that's it, I think. Okay. Um, somebody let me know there was a... I missed... Hi, Renee. I'm, so, yeah, this was a, a video <coughs> of the press conference uh, when we when her, you know, after she was found. So immediately they said no evidence of foul play or third party involvement, but just mysterious uh, that she disappeared, you know, just disappeared into the river. <clears throat> so apparently she was found naked. Now, this is something that on, honestly, well, let's have a look at some of the... Um, Let's have a look at some of the reports, the inquest reports that they're saying today. And you tell me what I just... Anyway, let's read the reports first and then we'll decide. All right, we've got LBC first. Right. So, mother of three, Gaynor Lord apparently said, according to LBC, she wanted to vanish like Nicola Bully. Well, what a strange thing to say. She wanted to, why? Why did she want to vanish? Oh, look, this is all the gin that I was looking at earlier that just made me want a bottle of gin. I'm definitely getting a bottle of gin tomorrow. Anyway, yeah. And well, as she was leaving work, she, she asked if she could leave early. She looks very happy, doesn't she, and cheery, big smile. But it just goes to show you never know what's going on in someone's mind. Having said that, the verdict has not been self-deletion. So, you know, we just want to say that straight away. Nobody's saying that she did delete herself. Uh, so a mother of three whose body was recovered from a river after a week-long police search had told friends she wanted to disappear like Nicola Bully. Uh, now, I wonder who, so now they're bringing up this again about the menopause. Gaynor Lord, who was found dead in the River Wensum in, no, sorry, it's Norwich, not Leicester, was on HRT, hormone replacement therapy, for the menopause a medication for epilepsy. Now, did she have an epileptic fit? in the water i don't think they they're saying that she did would they know they would know would they or would there not be any evidence afterwards the 55 year old retail worker who disappeared after leaving work early in norwich city center at 2 45 pm on december the 8th last year had left her clothes and belongings in a park near the river so she had taken all her clothes off 
Now, that to me seems strange because, uh, you know, if she'd self-deleted, it's very rare to work for women to take all their clothes off, you know, before self-deleting because, you know, they tend to be dressed. Um, anyway, but maybe, you know, maybe she just thought she'd go for a nude swim in the river in the park. Of course, that's exactly the sort of thing you think about, isn't it? Anyway, apparently she told a friend she wanted to disappear like Nicola just days before she vanished. And two days before she vanished, her friend Jane Rudrum said she saw Gaynor, who made the Nicola comment to her, according to The Sun. She had battled mental health issues and on the afternoon of her disappearance, she sent a message saying help to a contact in her phone who had died some time ago. Oh, I, I, do you know, just think, it, is it just to scramble your head? I don't know. So she sent a message saying help to a contact in her phone who had died some time ago. Oh, again, uh, you know, you think if only you could speak to them and ask them, you know, what was behind all this. So Norfolk senior coroner Jackie Lake told Tuesday's hearing in Norwich, I have ha heard evidence she had recently watched a programme about cold water swimming and that was something she talked about in the recent past, both with her husband and a friend. Miss Lake recording a conclusion of death by misadventure. So uh, Gaynor's death has been recorded as death by misadventure so not a uh, self-deletion not an open verdict not accidental death but death by misadventure and she's the coroner said she was satisfied that Gaynor intended to enter the water but I do I do find that she didn't intend to die by her actions so is what she's saying is she just got in the water because she fancied her a, a cold water swim with no clothes on it, you know when it's freezing cold in December Miss Lord's clothing mobile phone glasses and jewellery including two rings were discovered in Wenson Park on December the 8th and she'd earlier been captured on CCTV at locations around the city Specialist divers discovered a body in the river near to where her belongings were found on December the 15th. And Detective Sergeant Mike Cox said her body was not clothed and had been 2.5 metres underwater. No alcohol or drugs of abuse were detected in her blood and there was no evidence she'd been assaulted. Her husband Clive Lord said, Gaynor had recently watched a TV show about swimming in ice cold water. She's never done it herself, but I don't know if in her confused state she may have been thinking about this. I don't know this for sure, it's just me thinking about why she would enter the water. He continued, now this is strange as well. There is no reason for her to be at Wenson Park. It's not a park we've ever been to before. So she went off to a park she'd never been to before, took all the clothes off and got in the water. But she wasn't intending to do to die in the water. And it was late, it was late in the day, wasn't it? It was dark. The only reason I can think she went there is so we couldn't find her. He said he had last seen her before she left for work. And they had spoken about planning a holiday to Japan the next year. Mr. Lord added there'd been no arguments or disagreements. He said that the coroner said Miss Lord's mental health was stable in January 2023. But added, however, there was some evidence in the more recent past she was acting out of character. What, she had a blip, did she? Was it a blip? 
Did you have a blip like Nicola Bully had a blip? In the police report, Mr Cox said that analysis of Miss Lord's phone showed that on the afternoon of her disappearance, she sent a message saying help to a contact in her phone who had died some time ago. What are you all making of this? An odd case, don't you think? Odd case. Hi, Yvonne. Thank you for the super chat that you sent. Thank you so much. You know, it's yeah, it just seems weird to me, to be honest, the whole thing. Um. So she sent a message saying help to a contact in her phone who died some time ago. And in a further message, she wrote she was going crazy and she can feel the fear. And she said that in a string of messages, she said she didn't know what she was doing. And med no, and I don't like the way they're bringing it back to menopause and HRT again. Medical details in a police report read to the hearing said that Miss Lord agreed to start HRT in March 2023. And that she had suffered a large epileptic seizure on December the 4th, 2023, a few days before her disappearance. Adding that this was her first large seizure for some time, she said she could make no finding in relation to her mental health. Well, a mental... <laughs> Well, what when she said she was going crazy and she can feel the fear and she'd sent a message saying help to a, a dead contact in her phone. So it's another one of them, isn't it? Uh, Gaynor Lord had been married for many years, had children and led a stable life. The evidence is she enjoyed her part-time work at Gerald's, the department store for Bullard's Gin. Her medical cause of death was recorded as immersion and drowning. So apparently she'd ha she had had a previous mental health episode in 2011, but the coroner said there's no diagnosis, uh, diagno diagnosis of mental ill health. But she'd had a previous... You know, everything's contradictory, isn't it? In 2000, and, Heather, Heather, if you, this is you. In 2011, Miss Lord had been taken to hospital after she'd been in a pub waiting for aliens to pick her up or take her away. Not only that's you, that's me. I think that's, I'm going to go to the pub and wait for aliens to pick me up or take me away. I feel like that quite often, to be honest. He said that at the time, doctors were considering sectioning her, bless, but they allowed her to come home, adding, we think she screwed up her tablets and had a reaction. Bless. So she's been through a bit, I mean, that was over 10 years ago, but she's been through a difficult time, hasn't she? If only you could see into people's brains sometimes what they're thinking. Mr. Cox said that phone analysis indicated that between 4.10 and 4.30 on December the 8th, she was looking at pictures of her family and of her dog, which her husband said had died around a year earlier. Oh, God, I think I'm going to cry now because, you know, she will have missed her doggy as well, wouldn't she, her doggo? Police previously confirmed they had consulted officers from Lancashire Constabulary who worked on the search for Nicola Bully. Yeah, if you want to know what not to do in circumstances like this, Lancashire Constabulary are the people to talk to because everything they did, they shouldn't have done. You know, they did completely balls it all up, didn't they? So, um, you know, I, I think that they could have been useful for helping them to... They did deal with it better, the police. And strange things do happen, I know that. You know, maybe years ago that when these things happened, we just never got to know about it, uh, did we? Did we? Um, you know, things would happen. We might see a little piece in the paper. Um, 
God, it's just reminded me of, of something. You know, when I was in Reading, uh, when I lived in Reading, I was in the Samaritans for a couple of years. And I don't think I'm betraying uh, confidence here because everybody concerned in this story that I'm going to tell you are no longer with us. So, um, you know, I don't think it's... Uh, you know, it's going against confidentiality. So, of course, if you're a Samaritan, it's confidential what people ring up, tell you that they're going through bad times, etc. And, you know, it's all confidential. And there was an incident in Reading um, where a mother, her two children had fallen into the River Thames and died. I think it was a river thames or it might have been a canal i'm not sure and uh the mother uh was looked upon with suspicion you know that maybe she had um you know made her children go into the canal that she had actually killed them you know and there was a big uh furore about it, it was a massive case um you know it was in the paper obviously we didn't have social media then but it was all in the paper uh, and these two children died uh, and the mother were I'm sure they went to trial and she was found not guilty uh, you know and it, it was then everybody felt really bad because they were accusing this mother anyway once when I was on you know on duty on the Samaritans this mother in fact a couple of times she phoned you know uh, saying she was feeling like deleting herself um etc etc and you know you just sit and talk to if you're in the samaritans the samaritans job is not to talk people out of committing suicide it's just to talk to them you're not supposed to try and you know you try and offer them other um other avenues but you know basically at the end of the day you're not there to tell them not to do it you're there to just talk to them and hopefully then they'll decide not to do it Anyway, um, I remember a couple of times definitely that she phoned up and then a lot, quite a bit later because after I'd finished at the Samaritans, you know, uh, Samaritans have a short shelf life normally of about two years and they burn out because that, again, it's a very, uh, it's very rewarding in lots of ways, but it's uh, wearing, you can imagine, you know, it's, it's sad and... Um, you know, uh, two years is about how long Samaritans tend to last and then they tend to give up. Uh, and that's, and I did, I did exactly that. I did two years and then I just thought, oh, I can't do this anymore. And once you feel like you're losing the, not losing the empathy, but getting too, you know, not enjoying it, if that's a, not, feel, in the end, you stop feeling that you're helping people and you just feel, um, you know that you because you can't do anything constructive to help them only listen uh you start to feel a bit sort of disillusioned with it anyway never mind about that but anyway uh she did actually delete herself in the end and it because it was in the paper the only reason i know because i'd left the samaritans by then um it was in the newspaper in the local newspaper that she had done that now, it was just a little piece. And the only reason I noticed it, really, was because I knew the story from my, you know, and I'd spoken to her at some point on the phone. Probably a lot of people didn't even notice that little story uh, story in the paper or remember the case of her children. So, you know, I think it's still, I'm not sure if she did, you know, if she was responsible for the deaths of those children uh you know it was a vet because she obviously had a lot of mental health issues um but anyway so i just remember that that's what happened again very very sad i hope she's with her children now and you know uh, she's at peace um but you know mental health we, we talk, i was talking about it you know been talked about with a few people it is such a massive thing mental health and the problem with mental health issues is you can't see them, you know, people hide them, you don't know what people are thinking, you don't know what they're going through. 
there is no way of knowing you know and although physical illnesses are horrible of course they are you know cancer if you break your bone or you get ill but at least people can see that you're ill uh you can go and get treatment they can you know with mental health issues it's virtually impossible to see what people are going through and to treat their illnesses so this poor woman gainer just makes you wonder what was she going through um you know that that previous mental health episode that she had, you know, sat in a pub waiting for aliens to pick her up or take her away. Maybe she was just drunk, you know, I don't know. Maybe it was, or maybe it was her tablets, taking too many tablets, you know, sometimes that can happen, can't it? People get confused with their medication. They either don't take enough or they take too much. So, you know, gosh, it's a, another very, very strange case, isn't it? very very strange case yeah all the medication clashes david i'll be i'll be there beam me up scotty yeah i've been to a few pubs in glasgow <laughs> yeah with that there's a hit oh thank you yvonne there's a few of us that would quite like to be beamed up maybe we should have Maybe we should have like a field trip to that pub in Glasgow and see if we can get beamed up, um, energised to a galaxy far, far away. Well, of course, Elon Musk is the person to talk to, isn't it? Because, oh, God, what a knob, Eddie. Oh, sorry, Elon Musk, honest to God, he's really annoying me. I feel like I, there's so much I want to say to him, but I know he'll, he'll probably just throw me off Twitter or X um but he um what's the latest thing you know he's spending all this money all that money he's got he could like you know solve world hunger or homelessness or something and instead he's doing all these stupid uh tricks but anyway never mind that's my bugbear with Elon. no me gusta no me gusta there's a bit of spanish for you no me gusta nada elon musk i cannot stand elon musk um Anyway, sorry, so I've lost the plot now. I've lost the thread of where I was going. What was I talking about? Where am I? Yeah, so for the phone analysis, that's right. So it, the phone analysis had confirmed that she was looking at pictures of her family and her dog. Uh, Mrs. Oh, so then they were talking about how they'd consulted Lancashire Police. Miss Bully's body was found in the River Wire on February the 19th last year. Yeah. The Lancashire Force was criticised over its handling of that investigation and the disclosure of Miss Bully's personal information and addressing family members of Miss Lord who attended the inquest, including her two daughters. So she's got two daughters. They're adult daughters, but awful, isn't it? I would like to offer you my sympathy at the loss of your mother, sister and daughter and pass on my sympathy to your father, please. So was the father not there then? Where was, uh, where was her husband? So, yeah, so apparently she stripped off. <sighs> Just, do you know, a 55-year-old woman, did she strip off and get in that water? Don't know why that's really bugging me. Because, um, you know, women are conscious of their bodies and especially as they get older. No, maybe she wasn't thinking she was going to get pulled out as a body, but maybe, you know, but would she not be worried somebody might see her? And even though she'd been watching um, a program about wild swimming, wild swimmers don't go in in the nude in general. You know, they wear uh, like wetsuits or whatever, especially in December. 
it's unusual i think it would be unusual for wild swimmers to go in naked uh, swimming even in groups or even in a bathing costume they normally wear something she does look so very happy there but you know i mean i can't say it was self-deletion because of the the results been misadventure but um sometimes when people are just about to delete themselves they do look happy you know they feel happy because they've made the decision they know they're not having to go through this shit life anymore you know i think we've all felt like you know just like oh god you know a bit of peace you know because uh you know life is hard life is a challenge and you know just getting up every day and facing life sometimes depending on what's going on in your life uh is an absolute challenge sometimes isn't it you know people sometimes they're suffering pain physical pain through illness or they're suffering financial stress or a combination of you know mental health issues relationship issues maybe they're worrying about somebody in the family worrying about work uh worrying about not having any work worrying about their animals you know maybe their animals are ill and oh so there's and sometimes a combination of all those things that people are worrying about so quite often when people have made the decision that they're you know going to shuffle off this mortal coil they are quite happy because they know they don't have to worry about any of that rubbish anymore so um yeah maybe that's what happened okay so we're going to look at a couple of other uh, articles let's see and i found something yeah while i was looking at all this you know normally when i'm researching one thing i find something else let's see where was that that i wanted to read out However, so I think that the uh, key things are that um, she died by immersion and drowning, um, that she had no clothes on. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Yeah, that she'd made this comment about Nicola Bully. She'd watched a TV show about cold water swimming um she'd sent those funny texts like a text to a friend of hers who'd actually was deceased um you know so there's a few sort of things that have come up there but there was something that i found while i was oh so a lot of people made a big fuss of the fact she was born in blackpool so people tried to make some sort of connection literal connection between her and nicola bully um but she moved from let's have a look at this article this is itv so yeah her body was identified by her husband so that won't have been very nice after it's been in the river for a while that won't have been very nice for him to have to identify uh to identify her immersion and drowning so this was one of those cctv pictures of her uh she was sort of rushing wasn't she along the road but it was raining she nearly ran into a car she nearly got run over she went to the cathedral, didn't she? And she was last, the last CCTV sighting was 4.01 p.m. And then police were alerted to a disappearance after a handbag, mobile phone and glasses were found in the park. So it took a week to find this uh, lady. So in fact, she was found sooner than Nicola was found now why can i not find right i was definitely there was something i wanted to show you because as i was researching well, you know how like you go down these stories and then it'll have a link to another story and then another story and there was a link one of the ones that i went on there was a link to 
Peter Folding is going to go to number 10, you know, and tell them, uh, you know, make this complaint. I can't find it now. Because honestly, sometimes you just think, are you, you know, I think, am I imagining things? You know, we've got Peter Folding, who was sort of mentioned in that Daily Mail report that I read out, even though now the family don't even speak to him. But nothing was mentioned about him saying now that he did find Nicola, etc. It's as if that never happened now, except there is a YouTube video out there. Well, I, well, I've got uh, YouTube. I've I've got his recordings of when he said it. But you know, it's as if that never happened. He never wrote to Ten Downing Street, or not as far as we know. He was going to go to. Um, he was going to take him take his findings to America. He was going to write to James Cleverly. You name it, he was going to do it, wasn't he? And he did none of it. Let's see if I can find the article. I can't find it. It's gone. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, that was what it was anyway. Yeah. Right, let's have a look. So in the Gazette, the Blackpool Gazette, they're talking about um, talking about Gaynor. In scenes reminiscent of the Nicola Bully disappearance earlier this year, pay, people have taken to social media to post wild theories about what has happened. So again, you know, it's all our fault. And look, this is the latest on Nicola Bully. Sonar images to be sent to Downing Street. So when we go into that article, Nicola Bully, when was this? Uh, 13th of December last year, Peter, diver Peter Folding to, sh to send sonar images, he claims, show the mum's body to 10 Downing Street. Peter Folding CEO of Specialist Group International has taken social media to double down on his position after his claims were dismissed by recent independent review into how the investigation was handled by Lancashire Police. This is really starting to piss me off, this whole thing of, you know, trying to pretend now that none of this ever happened. Just never mentioned now. He'll never be mentioned until his next book comes out, I suppose. On X, Mr. Folding wrote, on Tuesday, the 7th of February, I found Nicola Bully at the bottom of the River Wire using 1,800 kilo side scan sonar within six minutes from starting my search. The police dive team told me the target was nothing. Sonar targets are not created by nothing. They later changed their statement to say it was a branch so then he's wondering why the police are pissed off with him when he, he just he just rubbishes the police all the time and then he wants to be on their uh, list you know, why, why has this just been forgotten and why are people just accepting that it's just been forgotten just like you know never mentions it now he just blocks anyone who mentions it even fans of his are saying that. Even fans of his that have challenged him, he's just blocked him. So he added, the recent College of Police review into Lance Police debunked my evidence, saying that two independent experts have looked at the images, but I can confirm that no request to view or scrutinise the live sonar data by police or experts was ever made. Absolute confirmation or denial of a target is not possible without using the sonar software tools and therefore a thorough investigation by the College of Policing into my findings was not done. 
The images are clear, but the supporting sonar data is irrefutable and undeniable. And in the new year, I will be sending my evidence to 10 Downing Street, UK Home Office and James Cleverly. I mean, it was always weird, right, from the beginning, because why was he waiting until the new year? Why didn't he just send it straight away, you know? Anyway, there you go. That So this is how it is the, with the, you know, everything's like, Oh, just forget I ever said that. Let's just move on from that. This is what we're going to have on this documentary on Thursday. It's all going to be, um, you know, there'll be no mention of the really confusing things and the reasons why people thought that there was something to talk about with Nicola Bully's case. It'd be just like, oh, yeah, don't say anything. Uh, you know, you shouldn't talk about it. Don't talk about it. But we're doing a documentary on it. You know, oh, yeah, we're going to bring it all up again. But don't talk about it. Don't watch the documentary. Don't comment on the documentary. It's not for you to watch or say anything about. It's just we're just doing it just to slag everybody off. So, anyway, it drives me mad. Whole thing. Okay, so that was the verdict. What do we think about the verdict? David thinks it was the right verdict. Um, do we all agree? Do we think the verdict of misadventure was the correct verdict? I might be able to do a poll. Dog. Yeah, she had a little bark, but look, there's no chihuahua for her to bark at, fortunately. It's just causing havoc. Okay, so basically, that's one of what, what I wanted to tell you about. Um, what I'm going to do is edit this video and probably release it just as a normal video for everybody to see so that people know what the result is uh, of the inquest because people were interested in this case. Um, yeah. So don't so. So Thursday is the documentary that we're not supposed to watch or comment on. But of course, we will be watching it and commenting on it. Or I will be. Um, and we'll see what, there won't be anything, will there be anything that we don't know? I'm just intrigued to see if Peter Folding ends up being on it because I don't know why the Daily Mail even included him in their article when, you know, the family's persona non grata now with the family. Um, but, yeah, it'd be interesting, I suppose. Oh, and then, you know, this 999 call and the background noises and the dog and... You just think, what what's going on? You know, it's like almost like they may sometimes I wonder, you know, are they deliberately just trying to make everyone's head scrambled so that uh, nobody can make a you know, they start to sound like a conspiracy theorist now, you know, but maybe it's true because you just think it just gets crazier and crazier and just as it was all calming down and nobody you know, nobody was really talking about it anymore, which is supposedly what they want. Now they decided to make this documentary, so everyone's talking about it again. Anyway, so take care. Um, I'll see you. I, I, I've got a couple of videos that I want to make about other things completely. Um, but, of course, you know, events sort of overtake you. And when we, you know, I think gainers... Um, inquest result i had to cover because again i like to follow cases through to the the end and uh you know that is the end now that's the verdict misadventure um so but now hopefully i'll have some time to make some other videos that i think you might find interesting about other other things other cases uh one very interesting one i want to do but anyway so take care Thank you for being here with me to discuss this. 
Um, I hope you haven't finished the whole bottle of tequila, Julie. Uh, hope nobody's been beamed up. Unless they want to be, of course. And if they want to be beamed up, I hope you have been beamed up. So I'll see you really soon in the next video. And I'm going to put a few pictures on of Gainer. A little bit of music. Oh, no, I'm not. I've only got one picture. Oh, hang on. No, I am going to do that. I, I downloaded some pictures because I like to do a little, little tribute at the end. So I just have to upload these pictures. <sighs> oh, you know, because it's very sad to th that when you see, you know, if she, it's even sadder really if she wasn't what she wanted, you know, that it was misadventure. It's actually sadder, isn't it? Because if it wasn't misadventure and it is, was actually what she wanted, at least she got what she wanted. Um, but if what she, all she wanted was to have, you know, like a little wild water swim for whatever reason, you know, on her own, in the nude, in the freezing cold December, you know, to, to, I've got to be honest, it all seems a bit weird to me that, but there you go. There you go. People do things that are weird, I suppose, sometimes. Uh, right. Got quite a few pictures of her that I'm just uploading. Then I'm going to play the pictures, a little bit of music, a uh, light little candle for her. And as I say, I just hope whatever, whatever happened, that her gainer is at peace now. I think I've got one more to upload. Okay. Um, yeah. uh, okay so take care and till i see you again as always may your god go with you Thank you.